Hello and welcome to my musings on particularly Createx colours but on painting, restorations and customs from my point of view because I've just started using these Createx colours and if I'm honest I wish I'd started ages ago because they're not only a boon for custom work they're a boon for restorers too as you can see I used on that I used candies over the actual Hot Wheels factory pen on this it was just total candies and silver underneath on this one it was just actually straight out of the colour straight out of the bottle and onto primer it was a dark coloured primer now most people think of Createx as custom colours which isn't true in the slightest they can achieve most effects the Hillman minks on the right was given a two-tone paint job of the period by mixing the candy colours into white using them essentially as dyes for paint so it can give a myriad of colours all the if you got the dyes and used them in the white paint first step on any paint job should be good grey primer I used, I used the stuff from the pound shop but I found it to be a false economy because on very light colours it was ble bleeding through red pigments into the colours once I put the clay coat on so essentially your primer's not meant to bleed through anything and next thing, especially for custom jobs, is an Autobahn sealer. And it's available in most colours, that's a silver. And it's got a beautiful sparkle to it if you're using candies. And here are just the base colours, wicked colours. Are just the base colour. This one's a carmine. It's basically detailed carmine. So that's a basic flat colour. But then you can go on to custom colours. Such as pearls and stuff. And this one is a pearlized magenta. I've got it to use for mod tractor which you'll see in a wee while. It may need a little bit of adjustment, but I don't think so. It should do as is from the bottle. And next up, here we come, eventually. And this one, I had the long pause there, because I waited three months for this from the from the America. Because it was sent over by Spray Gunner no problems then our post office screwed up sent it back to spray gunner in america and they had to send it me out again so thanks to the staff at spray gunner for being terrific and our post office for being total knobs <laughs> and here are the candies now the candies are good in the way that they can be used over varying colours and effects underneath to give spray over it and they're a clay essentially dye and they can give superb effects but you can also mix them into plain colours to give subtle colours like say this grey blue on this dinky milk float 
and the blue you could mix them with white and mix the candy in as a paint dye to give you spot on colours it really is a good system to work with and because it's all from the same company in the same paint range you know they're going to mix with each other for instance this Citroen Diane I could spray a base of silver then copper and then I could spray tequila yellow over it till I got the desired effect a bit darker than that it may need some dirt track brown in with it to bring the colour down or a little bit of red in it to bring it a bit orangier but it gives you the option of getting metallic effects for restorations that you wouldn't otherwise get such as these coppers there's two distinct coppers there the front one the mini clubman could be done distinctly with dirt track brown candy over silver and obviously here's one a matchbox I think it'll do out of the box bottle than magenta as you can see it's quite a good match and that'll give a nice beautiful metallic and matchbox used that magenta on quite a few and matchbox for this colour of red they sprayed it gold, gold first and then sprayed a candy red over top so essentially you'd spray it gold first then spray candy 2.0 over the top blood red and it would give you the matchbox candy red anyway here's as well a bit of info on my paint stirrer for whatever paint you happen to use I've got my mini Dremel and a length of copper bar little bend at the bottom and you just get your bottle and basically drop it into the bottle then press the button spin it obviously a slower speed's desired and then once all your paint jobs done you can use clear lacquer I use this type obtained off eBay for a really nice watery finish and worth observing when you spray lacquer is do about four or five coats and very thin coats because it is very watery and will run easy and what you've got to bear in mind lacquer evaporates well and leaves the detail good anyway back to these again this minx the beige one was done using extensively Createx colours I sprayed it with etching primer first then used Createx colours to a basic white and then used candies mixed in as a paint dye to achieve the colours which looks astounding for me you could do all sorts of subtle finishes and all dink mix old British colours that you can't get in spray cans and you can't get in normal paint ranges you struggle to get even close with some of them you still have to mix anyway and anyway once we finish in here I've got a quick custom I did with some today I was playing with and we started off with 
uh, little hot wheels and it's not this one I bought two of them for test mules and one of them well, I was deliberately using to test paint stripper so he'd had to, I just dabbed a bit on top of the roof because I was testing it for stripping Hot Wheels paint and it took it off no problem so I decided that was the way to go, the stripper to go with because you can have some troubles with Hot Wheels paint when they get the thick lacquer on and anyway after some messing about here's where we finished in a second if you've enjoyed the video thumbs up even better if you've not subscribed please subscribe away and terrific if you give me a thumbs up to help me videos visibility that'd be superb anyway here's where we finished up with today's it was given a dusting of etching primer then on top of that I did Autobahn silver over the top of that I did some cosmic sparkle then over that I did tequila yellow candy then masked off the top half of it and then did the bottom half with dirt to rack brown candy thanks for watching take care out there and bye for now tatty pie everybody tatty pie